Hello and welcome to Health Talk. I'm Dr. Manny. Natural medicine is on the rise in this country, and we are fortunate enough to have our own alternative cure guru right here at Fox joining me to share the benefits of, listen to this, curcumin is our own medicine hunter, Chris Killam. Curcumin. Cur I just love saying that word, curcumin. Yeah. But it's, listen. It's the yellow stuff in turmeric root. The yellow stuff in turmeric, and you made me eat that in another show, but uh, we know that this is good, especially for people who suffer from Alzheimer's, or at least a prevention. Uh, to Alzheimer's. In those countries where turmeric is consumed in large quantities daily, there's a very, very low incidence of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, we know that curcumin is a powerful anti-inflammatory, so it's every bit as effective as ibuprofen. Um, the most recent finding, though, is that curcumin, uh, this ingredient that just keeps growing in its body of science, also helps to reduce the risk of colorectal cancer, which I think is the second cancer killer in the United States. Yes, so you've got two choices. You can either eat a good amount of turmeric root, uh, you know, powdered in food every single day. In my day, right, in, yeah. in, in my food. Yeah, use in that as a main. your veggies, in your fish, right. in your meats, sauces, soups, etc. I do that, yeah. yeah. Or, or you can take uh, turmeric supplements, uh, curcumin supplements like this one here. Um, either way, you know, we know that this spice is totally benign, that it doesn't have any toxicity, it doesn't interfere with medications, but it may relieve pain, reduce the risk of certain cancers, and possibly inhibit the development of Alzheimer's disease. So once again, we find that a very simple spice has profound medical benefits that can make a huge difference in your health and longevity. What about depression? Anything with that? Yes, there is something with depression. Um, curcumin increases the brain's natural production of protective agents. When you have all the right brain chemistry going, you're happier. Mm -hmm. when, so if your brain chemistry is balanced, which is, of course, what you know, psychopharmacology is all about, then you have a better mood. So I would say that in addition to cancer prevention, eat a bunch of turmeric, you'll probably be in a better mood. There you have it. <laughs> he, he does it again. He knows about all these spices. You're going to be, you know, you're going to live to be 100. I can tell you that much. Anyway, thank you so much for thank joining you, us. Manny. Check out the Medicines Hunters blog every Wednesday at foxnewshealth.com. And if you have a health question, email me here at fox at drmanny at foxnews.com. Until next time, I'm Dr. Manny. Check out that turmeric.